I'd like to thank you for purchasing Visible Defects Visual Detection System for Finding Cracked Heat Exchangers. Featuring the contractor's crack finder with a low odor, no smoke, non-toxic dye penetrant used to find cracks in heat exchangers. Your visual inspection kit includes our patent pending spray applicator, two spray nozzles, an inspection mirror, safety glasses, and a UV flashlight for detecting the dye. I'd like to demonstrate how to use our product. Most heat exchangers have very limited access to get to the heat exchanger. If the crack is where you can't view it either from the A-coil access, through the blower, or maybe through the insertion limit hole, you have no way of finding any cracks that might be visible otherwise. The Visible Defects Visual Detection System is especially useful on heat exchangers where portions of the heat exchanger are not visible for inspection. Serpentine types of heat exchangers, due to their shape, after you get through the first pass, you can not do any inspections. Whenever you use our product, please be safe. Always wear your safety glasses. Turn off all electrical power to the unit you're servicing. Pull the blower motor and lay down towels around the perimeter of the blower compartment to make sure that none of this dye leaks on Mrs. Smith's white carpet. It is bright green. The Visible Defects Visual Detection System is sent around our fluorescent dye penetrant and the spray bar applicator. The spray bar applicator will go through any hole in a, heat ex in a furnace cabinet, and if there aren't enough holes, you can make your own screw hole. You do this by measuring between the cells and then transposing those on the front panel using a, your insertion limit as the point of starting. The way to use this is we take the 11-inch spray bar, we insert it in any screw hole or through the insertion limit. You'll notice it'll get about halfway through the heat exchanger. Then as we spray, it sprays the whole heat exchanger top to bottom. Now if we're in a closet and we don't have access to the back of the heat exchanger to insert it from the rear to get the back half, there's a spray nozzle that we put on the hose and then we can soak the back of the heat exchanger without getting access to the back of the furnace. Once you've saturated the air side of the heat exchanger, you want to take your black light flashlight and look at the combustion side of the cells through the burner openings. Any evidence of the green dye penetrating is evidence that you have a cracker hole that needs further investigation. On some modern crimp style heat exchangers, the dye will penetrate through. This will be a very minute amount in the seams where the two halves of the heat exchanger meet. This is normal. Any excessive dye or flooding of the chambers would be indication you have a much serious problem, hole, or crack. I would always recommend using a camera to document any cracks you find because your competitors may not have the same tools that you have that allowed you to find these cracks. And a camera with a videotape is really the only way you can document it to your customer that they have a problem in a format that they understand. Everybody watches TV, and if they see a crack on TV, it looks more like a crack than trying to have them bend down and look up inside a small hole at something they've never seen before. So I would always recommend using a camera. You can use ours or use somebody else's, but always document cracks you find. It's for your own protection. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for investing in Visible Defects Visible Detection System.